Welcome back again for another video and for this video we will be modding FlyDG Scorpion D1 Here's the switch Maybe some of you know that the switches here are not hot swappable So by meaning of hot swappable you can take out the switch and put the switch that you like The board of FlyDG Scorpion D1 is not hot swappable so we will mod this and we, and we will turn the board to hot swappable by using this Melmax 0305 so let's go let's start get ready to open the flight dg scorpion d1 it has 11 screws 1 2 3 4 5 6 and it's underneath here there you go 7 underneath here 8 underneath here 9 underneath here 10 and underneath here 11 so there's 11 screws so remove them all after you remove all the screws just pry it open carefully and there you go all we need to do is desolder this this and this for one switch so we will be using this one the soldering pump and the solder so I'm a Filipino that that's why I I say solder so I pronounce by spelling but if you're from the USA European they call it solder solder just a test I'll be desoldering this one so we need to remove the key This is the switch and it is soldered in the board. It's here. So we need to desolder this. and i'm done make sure it looks it looks like this and now we will be pulling out our um, switch take it out slowly a little wiggle yeah there you go make sure it looks like this and we will gonna insert the email max 0305 here I find it easier to insert when you put this pin first. There you go. And then put a little pressure. So if you do the desoldering properly, you can easily push the mailbox. So let's try to insert our new switch. And there you go. It's all connected. So let's resolder this. So let's put first um soldering paste. So let's try to remove the switch and 
it's okay let's put that back again and it's okay so before we do the rest we need to test it first if it's working the moment of truth so let's test if this modded um, switch is now working so let's open my DJ app um, let's click new so let's drag a blank button here and the moment of truth this is the switch that we modded okay so it registered as control it's not clear in the video but it's registered as control so it's now working 100% so we will do the rest of the switches to access this part we need to remove the battery and its holder and to do that there's a screw here unscrew it unscrew this two screw here and here and you can move this out of your way and you can remove the plug and you can access the upper part um, the mill max is already installed so let's test it New space okay, it registered okay. This one will not work since this is the function key, so let's skip that. Okay, it registered. Okay, registered. Okay. Okay. So, as you can see, all of the buttons are working. So, this too is um, hot swappable, and these switches are soldered for the stack FlyDG Scorpion D1. As you can see, all these switches here are at swappable. See, all of the switches here are now. Um, all of the switches here are at swappable. So we're done turning these to hot swappable switches, and this mode will not be complete if we don't enhance the sound profile of this so this is the unmodded sound of like the G scorpion d1 now we will mod the sound of this remove this there's two screws here you can find you can find it here remove first the connection and remove the battery um, we will put tape masking tape or painters tape we will put three layers of tape So this is three layers of masking tape. So this is called the tape mod. So let's now put the battery. Next thing to do is is the back casing. We will fill up this with fillers. By filler it means um, foam or polyfill or PE foam. You can use this, cut them to size or you can use this it's I think it's called polyfill it's up to you what do you want to use 
if you want to use PE foam or any foam the reason for this is to remove the hollowness sound so it will look like that and then we cover it do this on the edges to hide the polyfill so it's done so let's do sound test again after the tape mode and the polyfill mode So the space bar kinda rattles. So we need to mod this. As you can hear, the space bar rattles. This is because of the stabilizer. As you can see, this is the stabilizer. And there's another one here. If you're lazy to do some mods again, you can just remove the stabilizer since we can um, put hot swappable switches you can easily remove the stabilizer to remove the stabilizer just press this down and then press this down so press down and then, yeah there you go do that to all of the stabilizer so once stabilizers are removed, put back the switches, space bar, let's test the space bar without the stabilizer, so there is no rattle sound, that's what you need to do if you're lazy to do the stabilizer mode. So our Gatron switches arrived, so before we install the Gatron pin switches, as you can see it has side dg board has only three pins and this switch has five pin so in order to install this remove this and this one so it's now only three pins and we can install it There you go, it's now installed. So in let's install the rest. So this is what it looks like. I only change the keys that I normally use. Gatron Queen switches. The normal switches are of the red switches. So red switches are smooth to touch or smooth to press while tactile gathering queen has a bump when you press it uh, means it means that it acknowledge your press gathering queen switches on 5dg scorpion d1 sounds like this And that's all for the 5DG Scorpion D1 modding video and I hope that this video helps and if you like this video please do subscribe for more um, modding video like this one tutorial videos gaming videos and DIY videos so that's all and see you in my next video Get ready.